In this video, we're going to review how to use the responsive device controls in the Post and Page Builder. You can use these controls to change how your content displays across the four device sizes. We're going to start on the biggest device size, which is large. The active device size has a border around it in the toolbar. When you add a new row to a section, it will use all 12 columns. As you drag the columns to create new ones, the columns will only change size on the active device size. In this example, we're creating two columns of size 6 and changing the backgrounds so we can easily tell them apart. Now we're going to change to the next device size, which is desktop. The columns now stack on top of each other, and each uses all 12 columns again. To get them in the same row, we need to change their size. Start with the top column and drag it to the left to make it smaller. Do the same with the lower column and it will move up into the same row once it becomes small enough to fit, meaning the total size of both columns adds to 12. The next device size is tablet and we will repeat this process again to get the two columns side by side. We don't recommend having more than two columns on tablets due to the smaller screen size. The final size is mobile. We recommend leaving each row to use all 12 columns on mobile devices. It's best practice to review each page on all screen sizes to ensure your content displays professionally. Thank you.